Hello everyone, and welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we gotten all of the moons that we can currently get in the Ruin Kingdom. And in this episode, we are going to go to Bowser's Kingdom, finally. So let's go. Enough of that. The Odyssey is repaired, and that means we're off. Well, that was certainly a doozy of an interruption, but I'm glad we got the ship fixed. Next look at Bowser's kingdom. Hmm? Architecture, statues, Bowser's castle. Wait, he's got his own castle? Man, we really gotta help those two. Prepare for the best iteration of Bowser's castle ever. This is it, the showdown. But anyway, once you get here, you can't go back. You must make sure that you've done everything that you needed to do previously. You will only have the end game after you beat the final boss. So make sure you do everything that you need before you come here. If you're okay with that, then by all means, continue on to this kingdom. But first things off, we've got our first power moon in Bowser's kingdom to get. Hop on the switch with 10 Goombas, and it'll spawn a power moon, which is the best color ever. It's a red one. Stack up above the wall. Now, I do have the Bowser Amiibo with me, but Bowser's kingdom is actually the first kingdom that I ever 100%ed. Which I have actually said time and time again that the reason why I'm not doing the Moonrock Moons necessarily is because they're just the worst. But Moonrock Moons in this kingdom are actually not so bad. Just need to wait until that bird respawns. Or maybe I'm just going about it very terribly. I don't think that bird's going to come back anytime soon. But uh, if you bring up the brochure, I'm going to actually take you guys through the brochure because I actually like how it is. Bowser's Kingdom. Well defended castle floating among glowing clouds. The castle that walled off the sky. Population middling, size sprawling, locals, stairface ogres. Currency, Oblong, Industry, Hanafuda Cards. The industry being Hanafuda Cards is actually a reference to Nintendo itself. Back when it was first founded, it used to manufacture Hanafuda Cards. That's why Bowser's Castle is actually Japanese inspired. It's actually an Imperial Japanese castle. Because, just look at that. Just look at the architecture around this place. It is very heavily traditional Japanese inspired. But we're actually done in the first area of the castle, so let's go on over to the second. In the third courtyard. Courtyard. <laughs> courtyard. And this is a new capture. These guys. They're called Pokeos. And they're quite possibly my favorite. And I didn't know you could actually get into that part. But we're actually collecting Hanafuda cards right now. So we're collecting the currency 
which is oblong, but it's actually Hanafuda cards. Down here for a second power moon in the kingdom. And just pokey pokey. If you stick the nose out and then spin the Joy-Con, you can actually do a spin attack, which is very cool. And if you also flick the Joy-Con, you can actually get a little bit further up. I don't want to go through there yet. Because there is quite a few things that we need to do around here, I think. Maybe not. Why do I keep bonking in the crates? Why do you not just destroy them, Mario? Anyway, we need another Pokey Boy. That people love to call them. Pokey Boys. Come on, Pokey Boy. Now we're into the main first objective in the third cart yard. Uh, which is in the rear. Giggity. But we've got some taking notes to do. First one in this uh, kingdom. And it spawns on that side. That is excellent. But yeah, Bowser's Kingdom. The music. Not that music, but the music that plays in the background. And even the aesthetics. I'll take that heart. But I'll lose it as soon as I get it. Very Japanese expi expired. Inspired. And here's our first staircase ogre. Which is blocking the way to the first Power Moon objective. You can also poke this guy with a Pokey Boy. Or... Pokyo. But ground pounds just finish them off straight away. So aside from aesthetics and music, like that's it for the Japanese inspired parts and high phone. This Kingdom. As I have said, was the first ever kingdom that I 100%ed. That's entirely 100% true. I actually did a field stream, so I decided to do it off screen instead. I completed this entire kingdom, all the purple currency, and all the power moons. Including the hint art. In one sitting. It took me over five hours. And that's not all. I also did the Cap Kingdom. The Cascade Kingdom. And also the Snow Kingdom. That's the reason why I'm not doing 100%. But I am doing it to the dark side of the moon, which is a final level. Spoilers, but basically, if you know me by now, you uh, obviously know that spoilers is something that I don't mind. And something that you guys shouldn't be able to mind anyway. Or should mind, or shouldn't mind. Uh, words, please. But, yeah, I think that's about it. For this part, we've got a Pokey, which is good always. I think that's it. Well, there's obviously these guys. I'm just going to poke my nose out and then just spin around. It's a sword. And now we are second courtyard. And I saw as we were coming in. Three Hanafuda cards. I'm going to call them Hanafuda cards because that's what they're based off of. And also, if you didn't know already, I'm a big sucker for uh, traditional Japanese things. If it's inspired, obviously. I'm not really interested in the actual things, but when something's inspired by real life architecture and stuff in video games, You've got to give the creators credit. Because they've got a lot of creative freedom with their games, especially Nintendo. I'm not saying Sega isn't good at that because Sega made Bayonetta. <laughs> and you know how much I like Bayonetta. I mean, Bayonetta 2 is my next Let's Play, which, by the way, um, 
The day that I'm recording this was actually the day that Chugger Conroy actually released a video about how he does his Let's Plays. From the research, to the recording, to the editing, basically the entire process. And I've just died. Great. This video, I have made notes on. I made notes on everything. The last thing that I actually made notes on for Power Moon wise was actually the Luncheon Kingdom. Which was when I stopped looking at the notes and just decided to go on to this kingdom right off the bat. Stop dying! Jeez. But essentially, um, Bayonetta is going to be fully note heavy. Basically inspired by the way that Cho Conroy does his Let's Plays. Because it's basically something that I want to try out. And that that just goes to show with my art as well because I learned about a new technique and I just have to use it. But Paint Tool Sai and stuff, I use that because I learned that Paint Tool Sai is an easier way to do art instead of Photoshop. But anyway, Chugger Conroy's video because it's his 10 year anniversary of Let's Playing in general is actually pretty interesting. If you haven't checked it out already and you watch these types of Let's Plays, go on ahead. Go to Chugger Conroy's video because it shows a lot about the work that he puts in his videos. And it's mainly on the editing side as well. And I also learned a few new things about Chogi Conroy as well. In which Chogi Conroy is one of the main inspirations for my Let's Plays anyway. But recently, for streams, I'm massively inspired by the likes of uh, Grand Star Yoshi, Ozak, and a few others as well. It's good to find inspiration, really. I like how this turned into a video on in inspiration for things such as uh, architecture to go into the subject of inspiration for let's plays and stuff but you know that's the thing with with me I have ah oh, I didn't want to kill that guy but that's the thing once I get into a subject I tie it in with others that also goes with my art as well because in my college course, my inspirations are very digital based because most of my artwork is digital based. Basically, find your niche. If you're struggling to find inspiration, take inspiration from real life and other people as well because that's what I've done with Chug Conroy with my art and that's even what Chug Conroy did with his Let's Plays as well. So if you're just wondering what to do with your life and stuff like that, take inspiration from other people. Because nothing's going to stop you from taking inspiration as opposed to purely copying. Because purely copying, nah, you don't want to do that. But it's good to experiment, basically. That's, that's basically... <laughs> what I've learned in my entire life of doing artwork. It's good to take inspiration but not fully copy. Because Bayonetta, well Bayonetta 2 as a matter of fact, how I do that series or how I'm going to do that series is very inspired by Choker Conroy. And Choker Conroy is the main inspiration for a lot of people anyway. But I'm going to move on to the next topic as soon as I get this power moon anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Excuse that, I had to do an extra sync just to make sure everything is still synced up when I'm editing. I'm sorry about that. But my next topic is actually capture quality. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. I didn't want to come here yet. Alright, capture quality. The reason why I said on Twitter that I was going to take a hiatus from recording is mainly due to my uh, recording quality. Which, yes, I record in 1080p, but not fully 60 FPS. Now, the reason why I'm taking the hiatus before doing Bayonetta 2 is because Bayonetta 2 is a great game, especially the show at 60 FPS. So that's entirely the reason why I'm going to wait until I get a HD 60S capture card before even doing the uh, main let's play of it. I will be doing practice let's plays with the current capture card, but yeah. I need to get a HD 60S before doing Bayonetta 2. Because as it is my favourite series and all, like, it's my most played, essentially. And I don't want to reflect that badly in the actual Let's Play because I want to show the entire beauty of the game at full 60 FPS. But while I was talking about capture quality, if you capture two of these and put them in the respective places that I put them in, you get two power moons. And now we have 11 in total. So now I'm going to buy the power moon from the shop and a recommended outfit and a human in a fucking Bowser's kingdom. Great. Shopping at Bowser's Castle. It doesn't matter how many moons that you get because you're always going to move on. But, you know, I still want to have some sort of formula to this LP. But you really need to get the samurai armor to get the next power moon. But yeah, even the merchandise that you buy at Bowser's Castle, it's very, very Japanese inspired. Which, I need to actually equip the hat myself, because I skipped it out. But yeah, Mario looks cool with this, and I know exactly what we're doing with this. And also, I've actually just watched Kung Fu Panda, which I know this is Japanese inspired, but I categorize Japanese and Chinese and Korean as Asian, because they are Asian nationalities. But... If you go in here with the samurai outfit. What's here? There's an 8-bit pipe. You go straight in. Boom. It's freaking amazing. Oh, I want to do that. I uh, know. But a very Japanese Super Mario Brothers style level. Like, you can't go any more wrong with this. There's also a take a notes moon here, which I don't entirely like. Because it's very frustrating when you die. I know I didn't Mario, go back. The fucking moon appeared behind you. There we go. Jeez. Okay. On to the next. Which is actually what we need to use this Koopa Troopa for. And actually put some weight on the mushroom platform. Which we actually need to just keep getting it back up. But we got a moon! Words escaped me for a second there. <laughs> but that's two power moons that you can get from that. I'm actually going to go back to the classic Mario outfit because it's Mario versus Bowser coming up anyway. 
Mario hat in tow, we can actually get the checkpoint flag and go to the next area. In which the music stopped. Also, there's music here. Have a listen. Yep. It's very military and stuff. There's also a painting there. Which we're not gonna get. Discord, would you just shut up? But you know, there is actually a way to cheat. And I wanna show this off. If you scan the Peach Amiibo, just by itself, during normal gameplay, you get a life apart. I'm gonna use that. Okay. Left or right? But first... Before we go to these next fights, there's actually some stuff that we need to do. <laughs> yep. I'm detouring. To a secret, if you defeat these uh, stairface augurs. One, a two, a three. A power moon will spawn. All right, once we get the power moon, let's go to the first battle that we need to do. Before we do that, however, there's three kingdom coins right here. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Let's go into the first battle. Whoa! <laughs> it's Topper and Harriet. Yeah. Yep, the wedding is almost here. The boss is getting ready and the keep up ahead. But you two can scram because you're definitely not invited. Harriet round two. Essentially the same as the first battle in the Sand Kingdom. Just hit the bombs back at her and stuff like that. Pretty simple. Ow! Thought. Alright, when she does this, hit the bombs back into her. Oh, come on, come on. Hit it! This is why I use the Peach Amiibo. Because this is how I play the game and not anyone else. I'm not conforming to the standards of the society of Let's Play. There's no right or wrong way to Let's Play. Just as long as you're playing the game and commentating, you're fine. If it's without commentary, it's a walkthrough. Alright, final. Come on. Final hit. Final hit. Hit you and... Be gone, thought! That's a reference to a lifeline in the currently ongoing New Super Mario Bros. U vs. with me and Just Callum. <laughs> the boss wasn't kidding when he said you're... persistent. <laughs> that was weird. But if... But I owe it to the family, to all the brutals, to come at you with everything I got. And now it's time to just ow. Well, Topper, you're also a thought. It's you. You're the one with the topper in it. Final hit. Final hit. Final hit. That's a lot of hats. And be gone, Thop. And that's it. Next Power Moon and the final one of this episode, actually. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to join the roost today, and I will see you in the next one, where we go and fight Bowser. Just enjoy this next cutscene for the ending. <laughs>